Hey there, how we doing today? I hope you are doing fantastic as I am. I wanted to take a moment and really talk about how to find a healthy snack. One of the main questions I get on a continual basis is, how do you snack, Carl? What do you eat? How much calories in it? Like, where do you find it? All these different things. So I want to talk about that today and really help you understand what are healthy snacks and what are not healthy snacks. It's not really that complicated, but there are a few things that you should definitely know. So let's get rolling. So first of all, first off, let's just talk about, so like, why do you want to snack? Like, what's the point, okay? So let me just say, meal planning for every single person will be different. Some people prefer to eat three meals a day. Some people prefer to eat five times a day or more. It really depends on your lifestyle and your activity level and what you're comfortable with in terms of how long you go without eating. We want you to stay full. We want you to feel satisfied throughout the day. So we definitely do not want you to get to a point where you're like ravished, where you're like, if you see a refrigerator, you're going to eat everything in it, right? I don't know if you guys have ever had the experience where you get home from work for the day and you're making dinner, but you're so hungry, you like pull out a tub of peanuts or pull out some crackers and you're like cooking and doing whatever you're doing and you're just munching and munching and munching. And all of a sudden you finish dinner and the peanuts are gone or the crackers are completely gone. And you're like, oh my God, I just ate my entire dinner in 20 minutes and peanuts. It's like, oh, I don't know. It's crazy. I've had that happen a whole handful of times. It took me, I'm a slow learner sometimes. Sometimes I have to make the mistake a lot of times to really figure it out. But we don't want you to get in the situation where you're so hungry that you eat anything that you see. And there are times when that does happen. So let's prevent that by making sure you're staying full and satisfied. So that's the first thing. So if you are a person that likes a snack, um, typically what we recommend is either having a mid-morning snack or a mid-afternoon snack or both. So if you, we'll just go over snacking in general. You decide if you want one or the other or both. But typically for the people I'm working with, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, they'll eat a breakfast, have a mid-morning snack, eat a lunch, have a mid-afternoon snack, and eat dinner. Now sometimes it's too much for people. That's great. Other people love it. So you take what works for you. But first of all, let's talk about, okay, how do you find a healthy snack? What does it entail? Well, let's first talk about calories, okay? A snack is a snack i.e. It, it has less calories in a meal, okay? So we don't want an abundance of calories for your snack. And it's really easy to uh, slip right there and really eat too many calories at a snack. So typically, guys, let's just write this down so you got it. Women, and again, this is going to be different depending on your situation, your active level, all those things. Women will probably need about 100 to 200 calories per snack. Men will need... A little bit more than that just because their bodies require more energy to burn up every single day. Typically 200 to 300 calories per day. Okay, 200 to 300 calories per day for a snack. Now, there are a lot of different ways you can get that in. But every time you eat, you want to make sure you're getting some type of healthy carbohydrate in and healthy protein source in. And the carbohydrates can come from fruit or veggies typically. I, I love to lean on those two things. Um, and really save whole grains for once a day, maybe later in the day at, at dinner. If you want to have whole grains for a snack, you can definitely do that. It's just tough to find, um, to hit your calorie intake with the whole grain type of carbohydrate. So I typically push that back to dinner for people. Again, do what works for you. But if you do a fruit or veggie for your carbohydrate and then for your lean protein, you could do things like cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, string cheese. You could have prepared uh, any type of meat, you could do venison, bison, um, lean turkey, lean beef, right? And you just have it in the proportionate size that you need. Even chicken breasts. We have a lot of people that love chicken. They'll pre-cook a bunch of chicken for the week and have like half of a chicken breast as part of their snack. And it's great. It works fantastic. So women, 100, 200 calories. Men, 200 to 300 calories every single day. Now, along with that, we're talking about protein. You really need to know how much protein you need. And so a woman typically will need... 10 to 20 grams of protein per snack, and a man will need about 20 to 30 grams. Okay, so this is calories right here. Bam, this is protein right here. And I don't know if you guys can see a correlation here, but 100 to 200, 10 to 20, right? It's kind of a factor of 10, and that's exactly where you want your calorie to protein ratio to be for your snacks. What that does is it puts your macronutrients into the right percentages, for long-term 
how do I say it, long-term um, healthy weight maintenance. So sometimes, most Americans, right, we have this big obesity epidemic in America right now, and the reason, one of the reasons for that is the majority of what Americans eat is high carbohydrates, high fats, low protein. And what happens when you flip it around and go medium to high protein, medium carbohydrates, medium fats, then your body does a lot better job of maintaining a healthy weight for the long term. So that's what we want to do. And that ratio will help keep you in that, that uh, what's the word? Help keep the long-term weight off, per se. And maintain your muscle mass, keep you energized, and not be too much protein. Sometimes people are worried about too much protein. Don't need to worry about that in this example. Now, what are some healthy protein snacks? Well, I said a few of them. Um, cottage cheese, string cheese, uh, Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt's a great one because it's got the carbohydrates and the protein in it, typically, depending on the brand. But like I said, every time you have a snack, you're going to want to eat um, some type of protein and some type of fruit or veggie. So an example for a fruit would be like eating an apple. That would be a great, right, eating an apple. That'd be a snack. Or having a banana or half of a banana because typically they're a little higher in calories i.e. and on sugar. Um, veggies, literally pick any type of vegetable. I don't really care, just free reign right now, any type of veggie. But again, protein with the fruit or veggie, that's gonna give your body both of what they need. And typically, guys, we'll get healthy fats from the proteins, ideally. If you don't, if it's a super lean protein source, like a, a chicken breast, a grilled chicken breast, then we can look at getting your fats in at other times throughout the day to make sure you are covered in that respect. But right now, this is how you find ideal snack, guys. Look on the calorie, look on the, the contents, the nutrition label, and look for these calorie, uh, look at these calories amounts and how much protein is in the snack. And they should rest within those ranges. If they don't, you're gonna look for something else. Now what you're gonna find out as you go through this process is that a lot of things do not hit the recommendations for your snacks. And you're really gonna have to get creative in terms of finding what you like. So what I personally do, and this would be an idea for you if you choose to take this on, is make a list of all the protein sources you can think of that you like, make a list of all the fruits that you like, and make a list of all the veggies that you like, an entire list. Go to the grocery store, buy those things, and get them in your house. Okay, pretty simple, right? Duh. It's like, duh, Carl. Well, I'm telling you, common sense isn't always common practice, so I just want to reiterate this common sense here. All the protein sources you like, all the fruit you like, all the veggies you like, Go buy them when you go grocery shopping. Put them in your house. Then pre-make your snacks for one to two, three days, even a week if you can, if the food will stay good that long. And just put them in little Ziploc containers or some type of food storage containers in the fridge. Then they'll be ready. They'll be sitting there. Literally, you have to wake up, grab two of them in the morning or grab one, however many snacks you have, and you're ready to go. But I would take some time, take some prep, take some planning, get all that ready ahead of time so when you come to the day, you have them and you can go versus not being prepared, not having a plan, not knowing what you're going to do. So when you get in the moment, mid-morning or mid-afternoon, you're starving. What are you going to do? Find what's easy and available. And typically, easy and available is not good for your waistline, which we know. So take these recommendations, guys. Use them how you will. This is what's worked for me. This is what's worked for literally thousands of our clients. So hopefully it'll work for you too. If you got questions, post comments below this video and I'll, we'll do our best to be on top of those and make sure we can answer you, those questions and help you move forward. So hope that helps. Thanks for the time, guys. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon.